All right, Shalom, Akim. First, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Harakakodash. Double honors be to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations be to the hopeful elect brethren. Noise in the gospel, broad living understanding of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, what you're witnessing here is a clip that I'm going to play. It's about seven minutes long. And uh, I can say it's rather disturbing because uh, a guy calling himself Israelite by the name of General Yohanna, or Yohanna, and um, he, had, he had several names in the past. And it's lucky my screen cut out. Uh, but we don't, we're don't. we not going to really approach it as that because we don't really deal with the at hominous attacks anymore, for real. But this guy needs to be cursed out, man, harshly and made low because basically what you're going to hear him say he's going to pretty much be responsible for the death of his congregation because anybody following this guy Johanna man nine times out of ten you're going to get put down because the Lord is not dealing with this with this stupidity in this time and age all right and Johanna I'm just say this man you ain't a man of the Lord bro and evidence and your statements and your harling statements have made that very clear Okay, so I'm going to play this video, and I may interject here and there, but um, I got like three precepts I'm going to bring out on Lord's will to be edifying, but hey, stay away from this guy, that's all I got to say, man, he is not a man in the Lord, and Yahweh Hashim and Yahweh Shai is not dealing with him at all, alright, so here we go. Be careful. Don't go out there and turn this into no God work, no uh, worshiping of Baal by worshiping herbs and fruits and vegetables, man. You got a home remedy? Get down and do it. You want to drink some teas or you got something your grandmama used to do? Check with your doctor first. Make sure it's no abomination you eat. All right, for one thing, man, I, that, that's, that's disturbing because for one thing, he said that don't be on no Baal worshiper by dealing with herbs and things like that for natural remedies to heal ailments. Now, but wait a minute, man, but you just recommended going and getting vaccinations. So those modern day doctors and, and abortion clinics, those, that's the modern day temple of Baal. Okay, and the fact that you standing by that and abiding by that particular curriculum of the so-called white man, that shows you that you're worshiping Baal, man. Okay, you're worshiping Baal. And you know what? I'm going to say this too, man. This is probably why a lot of your guys in your congregations, are, uh, either the men that follow you have been dropped on their heads as babies, they're extremely stupid, or they really have a, 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 a psychological, it really all ties into the same thing, all right? Or they just got some heavy demons on them. And maybe the problem with the men in your congregation is the fact that they're overly vaccinated. And they're going to prove exactly what vaccinations do to the human body and how toxic it is. But for this man to sit up here and say, go check with your doctor first. That's something a hireling will say. Okay? That's not biblical. Nor does Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai condone it. Now, we understand that we're in Babylon. And um, brothers in the past have dealt with, or I'm just saying any brother that's been in this truth. Before they came in the truth, has went to the doctor and gotten a shot. It was required for school. But we try to stay as far away from those particular uh, witches as we could, man. We do not go to the doctor unless it's like a life or death situation. Unless it's like something that you're, you're really dying from or you need some type of, uh, or, or uh, you know, you get into a bad car wreck and the, the ambulance come and rush you to the ICU. I mean, you it's out of your hands at that point. It's in your Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai's hands. But we're not willingly going to get no 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 shots or any blood drawn. That's just stupidity, man. You know what I'm saying? This is why we push the herbs. And we ain't talking about no magic mushrooms either. Okay? Mushrooms is really not a herb, man. Look it up. It's not even plant-based. That's a fungus. But you got dummies out there that's pushing that as doctrine. You know? But anyway, don't follow this guy, man. He's blatantly telling you to get vaccinated. And to not um, use the natural herbs that the Lord has used, of the, the medicines of the earth, man. You know. And then you, yeah, you can do that. I think it's foolish if you turn around and don't take no vaccines. Remember the swine wow. flu scare of 1976? That was the year the U.S. government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer that could spread across the nation. 
And Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot to prevent a nationwide outbreak, a pandemic. That, that talk of vaccines is ridiculous. Give me some hard proof that people are dying from. Well, all right. Out of all these vaccinations that people were getting, did it stage off this fake, what they call Corona-19, which heard they were giving people the vaccinations doing the uh, test because the CDC came out and admitted that uh, they was giving people the virus through these uh, failed uh, uh, COVID-19 test kits. They were giving it to people. The virus was never airborne. That's fact. You can look it up. That's documented fact. You know. So what is this man talking about? He need proof, man. Obviously, is uh, <laughs> vaccinations are, are, are deadly to the brain. Cause look at half the men that follow you. Obviously, they brain dead for following you and your madness. Because only a fool will say something like this, man. Especially if he claims to be a man of the Lord and enlightening, enlightening. You claim to be uh, the illuminated ones on the right hand side, on high from the most high. You're supposed to know these things and you're supposed to not, you're supposed to teach against this man's system. Because basically, you're saying that you can get the chip. If you are with getting vaccinations, then nine times out of ten, Yohanna, you're going to get the chip. And Yohanna, you're making it very clear that you are going to be destroyed and that you are not a man or a righteous prophet of Yahweh by Shimei Hawa Shot. And if anybody got a problem with that statement, oh well, so be it. Okay? You guys are waxing worse and worse, and the house of David is waxing stronger, man. And that's blatantly obvious. And this is why you got these low-life bums that's coming out the blue, pushing false doctrine. You got Metal Mario, aka Magic Mushroom, man. You got this man and his madness. You got this guy, Nate Daniel 7, which I call him the Baba Duke. You got this man, you know, pushing uh, 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 that you can take vaccines and things, and he's not teaching on a chip. You guys are completely out your mind, man. And you're going to get a lot of people killed that's following you. And you know what? I say this. Anybody that's following you guys, good for you, man. Good. Good. Because I remember the whole uh, IUIC came up against Great Millstone and accusing us and labeling us all types of manners of slander and wickedness, man. So, hey, good for you guys, man. Because you don't believe in the Most High any goddamn way. Because you're teaching Christ. And any nigga that's teaching Christ that claim himself an Israelite, hey, we won't want no dealings with you. Six million of us obediently took the shot. And now 4,000 Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars. Okay, give me something more concrete than some white person is scared to death that the government is going to take away their land. I can't believe that they would say that they did not know that there were neurological illnesses associated with influenza vaccination. That simply is not true. We did know that. That, that talk of vaccines is ridiculous. And for six months, Judy Roberts was a quadriplegic. The diagnosis? A neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS for short. These neurological diseases are little understood. They affect people in different ways. As you can see in these home movies taken by a friend, Judy Roberts' paralysis confined her mostly to a wheelchair for over a year. But this disease can even kill. Indeed, there are 300. And that's funny that they say that the disease can kill because, matter of fact, my little cousin's autistic due to that. My uncle's nephew, my uncle's son, my little cousin, um, he's autistic because he's been overly vaccinated. I think KJ is like five, six years old now, and he can barely form a syllable because of vaccinations. And they make it so hard to sue uh, uh, these corporations because the vaccine court is basically they under the gossipship of what you call plausible deniability. Okay, you can't really go to vaccination court and sue them. So therefore, there should be no vaccination court. And that's the spirit I had a dream about my uncle yesterday, man. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, now this come about. And the Lord's been giving me these weird dreams lately and then things been happening. Like the bro at my camp, he did a video on that guy, Jason Mitchell, that played Easy e And straight out of company, how he got caught up on drug charges and gun charges. Because I guess this COVID-19 is affecting the pockets of these celebrities. I kid you not, that same night before he even came out with that video, I had a dream about this guy, like Easy, this dude that played Easy E and like some Suge Knight. It was weird how the spirit put that on my spirit and all of a sudden that happened. And I had no, I had no known of it. And then all of a sudden, like I said, my little cousin is suffering from a uh, vaccination poison. He's autistic. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this guy, Yohanna, is coming out with this garbage, man. So that's how the spirit of Yahweh Shemel is beautiful, man. Okay. And I got a scripture real quick. This is the book of uh, Sirach 38 and 1. It says, honor the physician with the honor due to him 
for his uses which he may have of him for the lord have created him okay the physician is a man that deals with the herbs on a righteous way okay this ain't talking about no magic mushrooms from heaven because for one thing as i made it very clear mushrooms are formulated on the earth okay it's a fungus okay they do not come from the heavens man all right mushrooms is a fungus okay and it was not no goddamn manna by far okay manna is basically simply angels bread from one high okay it's bread it's a form of bread i made that very clear it's just the things that are heavens you you can't it's it's i put it this way okay the things that are heavens are completely contrary to the things on earth in some degree this is why the scripture said like that will be done on earth as it is in heaven because when i was like well we had no particular idea on what it is meaning what kind of substance or bread that it is because it's not of the earth man okay it's of the heavens and the scriptures described it and compared it to something of a coriander seed so we was describing it the best way we knew how to uh, uh relate it to what it is but it's not from the earth okay so a man that's teaching you to deal with magic mushrooms or vaccinations man you got to stay away from that guy because the lord is not dealing with him all right and it says for the most high cometh healing and he should receive honor of the king all right and it says in the skill of the physician should lift up his head and in the sight of great men he should be in admiration right because hey to be a physician that's a powerful field to be in that's a lucrative when you got knowledge of the herbs on the right hand sense then hey that's a good thing because you can teach brothers on how to heal and what remedies to use like me personally i get into the herbs man you know i know a lot of healing herbs and different essential oils that i can use but i'm not the best when it comes to that but i have a, a fair deal of knowledge on what to use and this is why i don't have to go to the hospital you know what i'm saying i, I know how to mix up herbs and things like that you know what i'm saying and uh prove that uh uh like medicines that come from the earth everything comes from the earth man like the brother made a good point crack cocaine the elements that use that comes from the earth now are you going to use that because you can use anything and turn it into some type of witch's brew you can take the herbs of the field and, and, and use it for left hand energy it just depends on what spirit you coming in like witches they deal with herbs man okay and scriptures say thou shalt not suffer a witch to live so just because the most high made it in the earth and he said every healing herb and, and seat should be for use of men you can still use it in a wrong in a wrong fashion man okay if you're using it for a righteous purpose then hey that, that's it that is what it is but witches they have power on the left hand side from satan and yet they deal with black magic and herbs and and dandelions they deal with all types of things because witches consider themselves to be uh uh nature with one with earth where they call themselves uh uh the earth child to rough, roughly paraphrasing it you know they believe in nature and in dealing with the earth man they believe in herbs and picking certain things and making potions man those things are out of the earth okay it's a way to use them so for some 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 guy to come online and say Oh, well, you're scared. You got a uh, magic mushrooms because you guys are bitch made. You know, you got a guy that's talking like that. You know, then, then you know, something is seriously wrong with that guy, man. And maybe that dude should link up with your hunter, man. You know, hey, the IUIC, not the, I mean, the UPK, they accept you, man. They accept bug outs in their congregation. It's lucky if I feel like I'm attacking them guys. But, hey, it's, hey, the spirits say curse them out, man. And with stammering lips, man. We supposed to mock you. You know, because you ain't going to repent anyway. What I look like trying to be cordial and nice to a nigga that ain't going to get it, that ain't going to repent, that's steady pushing out vomit. It's one time if you don't get it and you get cut and you just, you know, you fade away. There's no point to talk about you. When you steady trying to kill the congregation, then, hey, we have a problem with you, man. And it's not us. It's the spirit of Yahweh Bajim Yahweh Shai. You know? And it says here, the Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. So why are you promoting vaccinations, man? Why are you put uh, 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 why are you uh, uh, promoting vaccinations and things that can possibly kill people, man, and harm their children three, four generations down the line? Vaccinations have proved to do that. Like they say, oh, diabetes is hereditary. That's bullshit, man. Okay, ain't no illnesses or natural born Ill or illnesses that the so-called white man created is hereditary. That comes from being vaccinated, okay? And it's proven that vaccinations can affect your kids three generations down the line, man, if you the host, all right? So it says here, the Lord have created the medicines out of the uh, out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them, okay? So this guy is not wise, obviously. He's coming in the spirit 
a scene. Hundred claims now pending from the families of GBS victims who died. I think it's foolish if you turn around and don't take no vaccine. I, I just want to make sure I understand. In, in, in your entire career, and this was just one study, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask you again. In your t entire career, how many fetuses have you worked with? Um, well, I don't remember the exact number, but uh, quite a few when we were studying them uh, originally before we decided to use them to make vaccines. I think it's foolish. You're, you're aware, are you aware that the one of the uh, objections to vaccination by the plaintiff in this case is the inclusion of aborted fetal tissue in the development of vaccines and the fact that it's actually part of the ingredients of vaccines? I think it's foolish if you turn around and don't take no vaccines. So come on in and let me show you. Let me first introduce myself. I'm a nurse ratchet. Yes, you did see me on the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, but I kind of got binned. And, and here I am now working for Bill Gates Vax Test Headquarters. Ratchet. <laughs> I just would like to say at this point that we, we do have some amazing scientific work because all of the scientists and the doctors that were in the death camps in Nazi Germany, they all came to work for us after the war. Perfect. Come on in, let me show you. Okay, so what's in that? Oh, well, here we are. Well, we've got some phenol. Now, Hitler loved phenol because it explodes the cells and causes instant death. And we've got some urea, and we use urea in abortions, therapeutic abortions, mind. The same ones that actually they use on 20-week fetuses in, uh, I think it's China. And they take them out in the sacks, and they harvest the kidneys and the liver so that they can use those. Those pieces to, mm -hmm. okay, included the lung of the fetuses? Yes. Okay, included the skin? Yes. Kidney? Yes. Spleen? Yes. Heart? Tongue? <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't recall, but yeah, probably yes. Because the immortalized cells in the vaccines that are here, they just keep causing cancer every time. Dreadful. Anyway, we've got formaldehyde, yep. which cross-links proteins. It kills you, basically. It kills your cells. And you might remember from your school days when you used to pickle things in it, and all of those jars in med school where they pickle organs in it. That's in it. And then we've got some mercury. Mercury is fantastic. It accumulates in the brain and it causes dementia and it poisons you. And you might remember the term mad as a hatter. And that was because all those people that used the stiffening of mercury for the hats, they went mental. And then we've got some aluminium, also cumulative, goes to the brain. It also settles in all the soft tissues and settles in the gut like shrapnel. So it sets up inflammation, makes holes in your gut. But that also causes dementia as well. So don't worry about living through the effects of this because you'll all have dementia and Alzheimer's. We've got potassium chloride. I particularly like this one because it's used in, in executions, chemical executions. We've got some of that. And we've got some fetus DNA, some immortalized cell lines, some chicken, hamster, monkey RNA, DNA. Then we've got some mold, we've got some fungus, we've got the immortalized cells, like I said. So let's get it all in, come on in. So we're going to shovel all this. Oh yes, let's get it all in. Do that. I think it's foolish if you turn around and don't take no vaccine. It's all so good for you because you've got no immunity and you really, really need this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fill your boots, fill your boots. Bit of mercury, get it all in there. <sighs> And there it is. But you don't have a choice. People act like you have a choice. People don't feel like going to the stadium uh, when they might get infected. People are deeply affected by seeing these deaths, by knowing they could be part of the transmission chain and you know, old people, uh, their parents, their grandparents, their parents, grandparents could be affected by this. And so you don't, you know, you don't get to say, uh, nice and ready to boost your immunity because don't forget you've not got any and uh these viruses are going to kill you 
There you go. Suck it up. Fill your boots. You want what? me to drink this? Yeah. What's your problem? It's poison. <laughs> I don't want that. Ugh. I've got an idea. And my thing is, if you can't take it edibly, if you can't take it by mouth, then you're definitely not supposed to be shooting in your body. Let's inject it. Yes, 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 yes! Evil genius! It's just, re all of it is ridiculous, okay? It's just like that microchip. And let me tell you something about that microchip. A lot of you, man, have really showed me how ignorant you could be. I hate to tell you this, and I know I'm going to get some beef off of this, but that's fine. That guy is not a man of the Lord, okay? He's not a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And he's going to lead a lot of people to their demise, man. That dude got some serious blood on his hands. You guys, that's part of his camp that have half brain cells that's working. Hey, you need to run from this dude. Don't even pack up. Run. Straight up, man. And go do your own thing. Because this man is going to get a lot of you guys killed, including himself. So this is the book of Ezekiel 13 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophecy against the prophets of Israel and he's considered a prophet but on the left hand side that prophecy and say thou unto them that prophecy out of their own hearts hear the word of the Lord thus says the Lord Yahweh woe to the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have not seen nothing because this man is not divine by, by far and he's calling himself a commanding general you're commanding people to be destroyed man O Israel thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert okay and the fox is a very sly and slick creature and he's basically, he's a hireling. And it says, ye have not gone into the gaps, and he don't go out to the streets no more. Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the day of the Lord. All right? And he's telling you to take a vaccination that's going to clearly break down your immune system, man. And it's just a fact that's against the law to begin anything stuck in your body. Leviticus uh, uh, 19 and 27. Okay? Thou should not, uh, roughly paraphrasing it, cut into the flesh of your skin. Because that's the same verse that goes into getting hair linings and getting your beard lined up and instead you're not supposed to inject anything under your skin so that includes the microchip man you know so this guy man he has a lot of blood on his hand and hey yeah how about you man? how shy hey he may be wicked and comfy man at this point you know that's even if comfy is dead but hey this guy Johanna, man hey he's not it the guy's dangerous man he's dangerous all right so this is the book of uh john the 10th chapter and 11 he says i'm the good shepherd and the good shepherd give it his life for the sheep and this guy he's not going to sacrifice himself for you all right he wants you to sacrifice yourselves for him but he that is a hireling and not and says and not the shepherd whose own sheep are not see the wolf coming leave it the sheep and flee it and the wolf catch them and scatter the sheep all right and the big bad wolf is coming in the form of esau edom when he's coming down with this new world order Yohanna ain't warning you about that you know not for real you know, and he's telling you to go and get things that's clearly contrary to the scriptures. And it says, And a hireling flee it because he is a hireling and he cared not for the sheep. And if he cared for you guys, man, he wouldn't be teaching to get some vaccination. He won't be teaching against the chip. And instead, he would be promoting the teachings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which he's clearly not doing. So you brothers out there, man, that may be of Yohanna's stock, hey, get away from that man ASAP. And with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you, how about you? And with that, Shalom and the Baba Ball.